Alrighty, everybody. Here we are. FCS football week number four. Let's just get right into it. We got a lot of games this weekend that are going to be fun. We have our first game on an actual network this week. Let's let's talk about that first. I don't know why ESPN decided to deep throat Deion Sanders and the Jackson State Tigers, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, you know. Somehow, you know, a Jackson State team that really hasn't proven themselves all that well yet. I think Grambling was a good start, but Mississippi Valley State was the worst team in the SWAC and probably the worst team in the FCS by a mile. Is it really going to move the needle? I mean, yeah, ESPN2 doesn't have any live events, you know, on that Sunday, you know, because, I mean, mostly everybody's going to be focused on the, uh, on Selection Sunday. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there's that. Um, but Northern Iowa, Southern Illinois, Northern Iowa's defense, you know, they're the number four ranked team in the FCS. They have a very good defense, only allowing 11 points per game. And, I mean, you know, Christian Boyd, he, he's been out there just just playing lights out, you know, for them, for the Panthers. Southern Illinois, on the other hand, they're number 10 in the country. They have been putting up points like nothing. Remember, they put up a bunch of points on North Dakota State, blew them out, and put up a bunch of points on Youngstown State. You know, they are just doing what they need to do out here. Um, the team who I think is the number one team in the country, you know, um, North Dakota, they are. Yeah, it's still kind of surprising that they're 3-0. It's still kind of surprising, but I don't think, I don't think Western Illinois will put up too much of a challenge there. You know, it's, it's Western Illinois, they, they, they've had some good teams, you know, Western Illinois has, but I don't think it is, you know, this one this year. You know, I think North Dakota will easily, you know, take care of business there. Um, Missouri State, South Dakota, um, they're, they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to get it together. And they want to get the playoffs. I think, you know, this, like this game against Missouri State, you know, will help them out. Um, Youngstown State, South Dakota State. You know, again, another great matchup. You know, South Dakota State has to handle business. They got to they gotta really, really get it. And they got to really get, you know, things going. You know, you know I think they, they, they've got, they got a lot of pieces on offense. You know, South Dakota State does. The Jackrabbits, you have got to... You know, they, 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 I mean, they gotta use that firepower effectively, and it, it should be fun. It should be fun. North Dakota State, Illinois State, another ranked matchup. Again, this one should also be fun. I wonder how in the world is, is the Bison going to, you know, get it together completely? You know, they got a good performance last week, shutting out, you know, shutting out Missouri State. And, you know, Illinois State is no pushover. No pushover at all. So, I think, you know, think, I think what, okay, so what Illinois State have to do is they have to play like Southern Illinois. They have to get the defense out there and they have to be swarming out there on, on that defense. You know, they have to get swarming out there. I think Zeb Nolan is doing fine. He's doing, he's being completely serviceable. But, um, yeah. There's that. Um, also, there's some plenty of other games to watch. You know, quarterback Connor Do Degenhart. Yeah, Degenhart for Holy Cross. He and his linebacker, Jace, Jacob Dobbs, you know, are going to make these Crusaders pretty fun to watch. I think it's going to be fun for the Patriot League. They finally kick off this week. They finally kick off. So they were, I believe they were supposed to kick off last week, but that didn't happen. And they'll be taking on Lehigh, Holy Cross will. Another ranked matchup, you know, there's a big, big chunk of 
Missouri Valley Conference games that are ranked, that have ranked teams in them. But Nichols, Sam Houston State, you know, that one is going to be fun. <sighs> you know, Nichols, you know, they've been playing lights out. We're talking damn good blowing people out. But this is a real test against the number 12 team in the country. You know, Nichols is number 7. I'm going to be watching this game. I guarantee you that. That is going to be fun. If you want to go to the absolute worst place to watch football, you go to Flow Sports. You go to Flow Sports to watch Rhode Island take on number 6 Villanova. Daniel Smith, you know, and his new, you know, his new receiving core. They didn't really do too much, you know, against Stony Brook last week. Um, but I think, you know, they if they can get it together this week against Rhode Island, I think things will be fine. Um, there's also Charleston Southern, Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State, you know, they got they got another tune-up last week, you know, against Shorter. But now the, it's time for conference play. It's time for Big South conference play. The Big South, I believe, finally gets, you know, completely underway this week as well. Uh, also, Furman taking on East Tennessee State. The SoCon, you know, they're, they're in a weird place right now, but I think, you know, I think you know they got they got they, they got you know Furman has to get it together. I think I've watched. I'm not. I don't think I've watched Furman play yet. But again, Silicon is a pretty interesting conference right now. And I mean, you got teams like VMI that are winning, and it's just weird. It's just weird to see VMI get EWs like that. Um, there's also a game on Pluto TV. That's right, another ranked game on Pluto TV in UC Davis, Weber State. You know, Weber will finally take the field. And, I mean, Bronson Barron, you know, he's a pretty damn good player. And he played against Idaho State, had a damn good game. But now it's time for another big time matchup. And, you know, this is going to be fun. This is going to be very fun. Uh, hopefully you get to see all this game. I'm pretty sure I might turn this game on. Check this game out if you want. You know, cause that's going to be fun as hell. Northwestern State, Southeast Louisiana, that's on Saturday night. You know, they, you know, the Southland is getting tougher and tougher each and every week. And both these teams, you know, Southeast Louisiana is ranked at number 18. But now, you know, the Southland the race for the Southland crown, the race for that auto bid is heating up. And it is going to be a fun night. So, um, but last but not least, the game I will watch on Sunday afternoon, that is Jackson State, UT Barton. And Jackson State, you know, they, they are really fun to watch. I mean, I watched a little bit of their game, I believe it was two weeks ago. Really fun stuff there. Really fun. Yeah. Yeah, that'll pretty much do it here. Uh, Y'all take care. Have a good rest of your week. And I'll see you guys tomorrow because there's a video tomorrow, guys. There's a video tomorrow. So, yeah. There you go. So, see ya.